When you search on YouTube how to make money with AI, you're flooded with different tips and tricks and side hustles. However, I can't help but think there's a much better idea out there. So in this video, I want to see if I can actually show you how to build an AI software app that we can sell as a product. And we're gonna use ChatGPT to do this. And if you just search for Google Trends, you can see the amount of search volume at the moment for AI and ChatGPT. There is so much traffic around AI at the moment and the amount of money that's gonna be pumped into this industry is insane. So if we can get a jump on it now, imagine how much money you could make. So how do we come up with a really useful idea? Well, the first thing that you can try is actually asking ChatGPT to come up with an app idea that uses OpenAI for business and it needs to be a service. The reason I've decided to do a service is because if we wanted to create something like Jasper, it's a lot more difficult to create something like this. But if we can create a simple Python script, we can add a unique feature to our business model that sets us apart from our competition. So it's come up with this idea for a smart contract creator. Now this is going to be a bit more complicated than just going on to examples on the OpenAI's API platform and just having a look through what you can do. For example, you can turn English into other languages. This is a really useful tool. Here's a really useful one that I love. You can actually create ads from product descriptions. A lot of you guys are interested in e-commerce and dropshipping. So if you wanted to actually build an ad for Facebook, or TikTok, then you can actually create a Python script that will actually allow you to input your description or a competitor's website description and it will turn it into an ad. But in this video, I wanted to see if we can use the Q&A. So imagine you run a service-based business where clients are constantly asking you questions that keep on coming up. You can very quickly create a Q&A bot that integrates with Slack and every single time someone sends in a question, the AI will just respond with the answer to that question. So how can we actually get started? Very simply, we're gonna ask it to create a Python script that integrates with the OpenAI API for a Q&A bot. So how do we actually run this code? Well, you've got two options. The first thing you can do is actually install a Python library directly onto your computer. You then have to import all of these. Alternatively, you can just set up a Google Collab. Very simply, just run your code straight through here. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. So before we get started, we need to install the OpenAI module to make sure our code runs correctly. Now, sometimes if the code doesn't work, the best thing you can do is go into ChatGPT and just ask it to recreate the code. So you can see here it's gone through and because I've already installed it, we've already got this has been satisfied. So now we're just gonna take the code that we got from ChatGPT. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna paste it in and see what errors we get. So I've asked it, how tall is Everest? And we're getting this issue down here open AI is not defined. And the reason for this is it doesn't actually have our API code and we haven't installed it here. So the best thing to do when you're debugging this is just change one thing at a time. Now we've imported open AI, so it should actually work. But the other thing we haven't done is actually specified our API key. So it won't actually be able to integrate with open AI. And that's an easy problem to solve because you can see down here, it says it doesn't actually have the open AI key variable set up. So if we just do this, if we set this globally, and we paste that in and we run it again. That's not gonna work either. So if we run it again, let's see if it works. So we're gonna ask it how tall is Everest and see if it comes back with a response. And you can see the bot is working. Everest is 29,000 feet tall. And it really is that easy. Finally, we've got a bot that works. Now, if you wanted to make this better, you could actually update the engine here or you can make your prompt slightly better. So for example, we're gonna put it through its paces and we're gonna ask it, how do we build a website for dropshipping and see if it can come back with any ideas. You can see here, there's a few different ways that you can build a website for dropshipping, blah, 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 blah. Use WordPress, WooCommerce, now, the other thing that you can do is you can actually build better prompts and you can custom train these for your business. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will let you guys know in a future video. But I'm interested to see what your ideas are for building apps like this. Now I've shown you how easy it is to actually build one. I'd love to see what you guys can do, but I will see you guys in the next video.